They've got the looks of a fighter, but the temperament of a lover. What makes this breed so popular? Here are the Staffordshire Bull Terrier Top 10 Facts. Number 10. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is not a pit bull. Yes, they do have similar characteristics in appearance and both are rippling in muscle covered with a short, tight coat of fur, but the English Staffordshire Bull Terrier is not a pit bull at all. While the pit bull group of dogs was being honed to bait and fight in the Americas, the English Staffordshire Terrier was being refined by breeders as a family dog. Number 9. English Staffies are different than Amstaffs. The American Staffordshire Terrier is tightly knit within the pit bull umbrella, as well as the rep that comes with it. It's difficult to tell the difference between the two by appearances unless they were standing next to each other. But to the calibrated eyeball, Staffordshire Bull Terriers are a little shorter than their American counterpart, standing at only 16 inches or so at the shoulder. Therefore, if you're on the lookout for a Staffordshire Terrier, it's important to know the difference between the two, if for no other reason than for insurance purposes. Number 8. Originally bred to fight In the mid-19th century, what we now understand as the Staffordshire Terrier was bred to be a fighting dog. Shortly thereafter, pit bull breeds were formed. Due to the outstanding and desirable qualities of the Staffordshire Terrier, efforts were made early on to breed out the aggression of the fighting dog and install a more gentlemanly demeanour and temperament. A socially acceptable breed was the goal and was the term used by breeders of the day. Number 7. The Nanny Dog a nanny dog is a nickname given to breeds that are especially good with children, as well as behaving like a child's personal bodyguard. They are more tolerant of a child's actions than other breeds and always look forward to heading out to play with the kids. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier isn't aggressive towards people, but make no mistake, the child it's with will come to no harm on his watch. Number 6. They are extremely popular in Britain and Australia. Though this breed never found much traction in the United States, they're incredibly popular dogs elsewhere. The AKC currently has them recorded to be the 82nd most popular dog in the United States. But they hit number one in the UK and rank in the single digits in popularity in Australia, France and New Zealand. Number five, they are friendly but fearless. Though the fight has long since been bred out of them to an acceptable degree, they are well known to remain fearless. And should a challenge arise, they're also known not to back down and take all comers if it thinks that its family is in harm's way. These are the reasons why it's such a good nanny dog and why training is an important part of raising a Staffy. Number 4. Staffies are trainable and loyal. Staffordshire Bull Terriers are very intelligent dogs. This intelligence and being easily interested in learning new things makes this an easily trainable breed, despite being a bit stubborn at times. They enjoy learning new things so much, you need to pay attention to the kinds of things they do pick up on. They're intelligent enough to get themselves into some mischief when you're not looking, and smart enough to get into things that might interest them. Number 3. Staffies are resilient dogs. In general, all dogs have their ailments, but some breeds suffer less genetically launched problems than others, and the Staffy is among those who suffer fewer health issues than a host of other breeds. A typical Staffordshire Bull Terrier can live between 12 and 15 good, energetic and healthy years when properly taken care of. The leading cause of death within this breed is heart failure in a ripe old dog age. Number 2. Strong Jaws That Love To Work The jaw strength of the Staffy rivals some dogs twice its size and is designed to bite and hold, applying pressure rather than biting and tearing. And like other breeds, it does enjoy chewing on things. It's best to give the dog ample chewing toys, ropes and other types of things to gnaw on that will help it distinguish what's acceptable to chew versus what you don't want to be ruined in your home. Number 1. They don't take to the heat Staffies are versatile dogs and can live anywhere in any climate as long as outside time is sensible. 
They do have a tendency to suffer from overheating quickly, so precautions and common sense need to be heeded to prevent the dog from suffering. Plenty of water, shade and indoor time in an air-conditioned home will eliminate this from becoming an issue. So, were you unsure of the differences between pit bulls and English staffies? Let me know in the comments section and fill me in on your experiences with this intelligent and dignified breed. Hey, before you go, please like and share and subscribe to my channel to receive more videos about your most favourite four-legged friends.